Today, I'm excited. I have something new for me and for you and the YouTube channel. After the feedback and response I got from the singing bowls in the last couple of videos, I've decided to buy a set of singing bowls. So this is something that I've been pretty excited about or interested for quite some time. And uh, last week I got a chance to borrow um, a singing bowl in the recording studio and had a chance to record it. So the recording um, in the studio sounded quite good. But as always, the levels are really hard to get. So, I got a set of singing bowls. So I've got two wooden strikers, and these are the ones that you can hit the side and go around. Hit the side and go around. And I got the big one. Uh, it feels like it's got like a weight in the bottom of it. Uh, here we go. These are. Things, I think they are. Um, in one of the videos, the owner of the other bowl was using these, so this is the first time I've opened this. Quite heavy, they are. So it's attached by a piece of leather. So these are a pair of uh, tings, I believe, and you tap them together like this. Wow. Just the most gentle touch. Wow, so that was the first time I've heard them, and um, you'll see a bit of video that I just cut out when I um, hit them together way too hard, and they are quite strong, but they have quite a nice um, sound to them. And Very interesting. Oh, man. Okay, so... That was uh, a pair of tings, and we'll start off with the small singing bowl. So this one's called the small integration bowl. So this is similar in size to the one that I was using on the uh, in the recording studio. The one in the recording studio was a poured um, singing bowl, and what I was told is that they're um, a more consistent note that you'll get out of them. So this here is a hand-beaten bowl made in Nepal or somewhere close to that area. The little note in the center says, small integration bowl brings harmony, wholeness, consolidates, ties all elements together. So I didn't get any cushions with it. So I've just got some um, small sort of pieces of fabric and I'm going to use it on there. So let's see what it sounds like.
So you can just rub around the edge. It's sometimes a little bit difficult to get the, the ringing starting, so just give it a little tap. And that gets the vibration going. And you just run the stick around the bowl. And you get that beautiful sound coming through. So I've just been reading a little bit about the bowls. And it's kind of like a, a vibration type sound therapy that they might give off. So everything in the universe uh, apparently, um, don't quote me on this, resonates to a certain frequency. And, and because our earth is made up of lots of water and our body is made up of lots of water, that the vibrations and frequencies will, you'll feel it in your body. So um, this type of therapy or this type of sound can uh, make you feel good, or help you or whatever way it wants. This one here is called the Liberation Bowl. They're quite heavy. This one would weigh maybe three pounds. So it's called the Liberation Bowl. Bowl. Um, something and deeply held fears, traumas, and emotional pain. So I guess it's to release. Yeah, release deeply held fear, trauma, and emotional pain. Uh, stimulates creativity. So this is called the Liberation Bowl. One mallet. Straight away, as soon as I uh, hit that, I just got like a little tingling sensation in my head. Not, not, not ASMR, but just. Wow, I can feel it, like a tingle, just right here. into the center. Feels like I'm getting decent recording levels right now. The mics aren't even set up very well. This is fun. Watching the the microphones. So that there is the liberation bowl. Um, the sound seems to radiate from the bowl outwards. So if I pick this up, bring it up. So the mics are just here, just right there. So this one here is called the Foundation Bowl. Um, this one here weighs maybe four pounds, three or four pounds. 
And it says here with a little note inside, grounding, relaxation, and there's a word there I can't quite understand, which I can find out, a sense of must and going with the flow. Alright, so this one's for us, let's relax. Hang on a second, let's set this up. So that there's the uh, three bowls that I have. These are the tings, so I'll just go. This thing's still ringing. Whereas these bowls are still ringing, this here is a little letter that I got when I purchased the bowls. It says, I purchased them from a website called Madam Carly. Um, I, I wanted to, when I purchased these bowls, I wanted to um, make sure that I got something that I'd be happy with. I didn't want to buy something that I wasn't happy with and then have to buy something again so I kind of did a bit of a Google search to see if I could find something that was suitable and it'd be nice to be able to buy them here in Australia and I found a website after googling it and um, 
the website looked like uh, the single vowels were going to be quite good. So I contacted the website and I got a reply back and I just purchased the vowels. So this is the letter that you get. It's, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's uh, quite nice paper. And there's like a little jewel for the bird's eye. Dearest customer, this is a note from Madam herself to say thank you for your interaction with her business. She sincerely hopes you feel the love, good intentions and positive vibrations that come with your wonderful gift. Madam Carly is not just a retail business. Madam is all about facing your fears, living your passion, and believing this is possible. Madam believes we are all connected to a powerful source of guidance and wisdom. In every choice, we are being guided in what is right for us in that moment. Madam is an advocate for supporting each and every customer in connecting with his or her personal guidance and truth. She sincerely hopes that your interaction with her business and products will strengthen your connection to your own ever-present guidance, supporting you in living a purposeful and fulfilling life with vibrations of nurture, inspiration and delight, Madam Carly. So I just wanted to share that little note with you. And that's the sort of feeling that you get when you interact with their website. So it's rare that I'll find a website where I feel... Um, like happy to purchase the item. So as soon as I looked at the website, I was pretty uh, sure that I wanted to buy the bowls from the company. And I just wanted to ask the question, I wasn't quite sure whether they were poured bowls or hand-beaten bowls. So I believe a high-quality poured bowl that uh, has the correct materials would be a better musical instrument. But please uh, don't quote me on this, I don't know. Um... But I have to admit that <clears throat> these bowls here, um, while they're... Let's see if you can see some of that. Uh, the light's a bit hard to see it. Maybe I'll see a little bit. So it's... um, The bowls themselves are hand-beaten. And... Um, they feel very solid. Um, one thing I like about this is when you run the, the stick around it, um, the poured bowl that I was using was very, very smooth and perfect, but in the recording studio, I had a second smaller bowl that was a hand-beaten one, and that was purchased from the Nepal, and that was personally chosen by the buyer, who is a musician and a singer himself. Um, and if that was one of the better ones in a hand-beaten bowl from Nepal, uh, these ones here I feel are better. So... Um, I'm no expert at all. I've only seen a couple of them. so But they feel quite good. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. And that's my introduction to the bowls. So, let's finish this video off with some Tibetan singing bowls. The only problem is space. Um, all right. So, as I said, I don't have any cushions for them. But what I do have handy is this here is my 
drying towel for my car. Okay, this will be interesting. Are you ready? Let's play with the singing bowls.
So there's uh, a little bit of uh, me playing my singing roles for the uh, very first time ever. So I will endeavour to learn and understand how to use them better. And uh, the possibilities are just endless on what I can do with their bowls. You know, I can um, uh, whisper, talk, Dr. Dimitri. Um, so while we're here, we'll combine a few different types of sounds. I have my massage stick. Oh, I don't like that very much. But what I do like is this. So we can go. So I have something about to stop recording, so I'd like to say thank you for watching my video and um, please if you've made it this far, comment on what you like, what you don't like, let me know and um, I'm sure to bring more videos through to you soon.